वेलकम बैक टू द वर्ल्ड ऑफ एटर्नल वॉयजर्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी मूविंग अहेड इन आवर टर्की सीरीज इन आवर लास्ट वीडियो वी शोड यू आवर विजिट टू कैपिडोकिया एंड आफ्टर दैट वी वर ऑन आवर वे टू सान उर्फा After driving for almost 7 hours we made it there and as planned we straight away drove to Gobekli Tepe which is almost 30 kilometers by car northeast to the city of San Urfa out amongst the foothills of southeast Turkey not far from the Syrian border lies a site so old as to be literally unbelievable dated at least back to 10000 BC almost 12000 years old it is many millennia older than stonehenge or egyptians great pyramids before gobekli tepe was discovered back in 1994 it was thought no structure could basically have been created by hunter gatherers it was thought that first hunters standard story was that our ancestor first learned architecture and then settled down and only then started building grand monuments but then came gobekli tepe and booed that theory totally there are many questions associated with this site who was this mysterious ancient people what was the greatest site really for it indeed takes us to the dawn of the time as we walked ahead to explore this place We witnessed T-shaped pillars in circles with two bigger ones in the middle as high as 5 meters. The pillars had carvings of animals like roaring lion, hissing snakes and the scorpions. We saw mostly dangerous animals carved and invariably the male ones. According to the dig team, the T-shaped pillars depicted men. They also thought it was of religious importance or a place where people can meet for a specific feast or festivals which would range from worshiping certain gods to choosing a partner. There is also a theory that these animals represent constellations. But there were no definitive answers why this building stopped further. So there are four different buildings here. one there you can see that's the building a that's the oldest one this is building b this is in the best shape right now and uh, this is building c and the one behind is building d in 2018 unesco added this to the world heritage site the discovery of gobekli tepe was a transformative event one that in an instant broadened our perception of an entire era in prehistory after the overwhelming tour of the site we drove to our hotel it was a short 30 minute drive we absolutely loved the decor and the setting of the hotel it was a long day for us and we made ourselves comfortable in our room luckily this hotel had a cozy restaurant which featured ottoman style decor and served middle eastern cuisine after spending the night in our hotel we had a fresh start for the next day The breakfast was served in the hotel where we stayed and we loved it. The historic city of Harran is 44 kilometers away from San Urfa and the drive from San Urfa to Harran was around 1 hour. Harran was major city in the upper Mesopotamia region 
and almost two hours away from the Syrian border. The castle of Harran was closed for renovation. It is a three-story structure that was constructed around 750 AD. It was restored a couple of times, but you will mostly see ruins. Humans have always adapted to the natural landscape and made use of the natural resources available. The Harran beehive houses, made mostly from mud and hay, are examples of this. These beehive houses have a primitive dome shape that give them a distinctive look. While it may be blistering hot outside, inside it's half of the temperature which provides a cooler environment for its habitants. The heat rises and escapes from the top of the dome. Today, the house is preserved mostly for the tourists but for the owners Jamila and Mustafa along with their nine siblings, it is a good excuse to hold on to the history. Our tour guide Mahmood showed us inside the house and we even ended up buying some silver bangles from them. You will also find the mention of Harran in the Old Testament. The foundation of the city of Harran extends up to Prophet Noah and Prophet Abraham. Prophet Abraham lived in the city before leaving for Palestine. Most people also know Haran as the city of Abraham. In fact, 4000 years ago, Abraham and his father walked these areas searching for homelands. According to the Bible, Abraham settled here in Haran on his way to the promised land in Israel. His father, Terah, died here. It is also one of the oldest continuously inhabited places on earth. As we walked ahead exploring the area, we also saw the ruins of Great Mosque which was built in the 8th century. Almost 400 to 500 years old, the Harran University was also there and was under restoration. After the whole tour of the city, we walked back to our lovely hosts from the beehive houses. We had an amazing time and they even offered us tea. They were very excited to hear our travel stories and asked Akshay to dress as a patrol manager. They thought he almost looked like an Arab. I was delighted to have the conversation with Mallika and thanks to the Google Translator for the same. Mallika means uh, queen, uh, no, uh, queen, Mallika, mini uh, Wait, I'll tell you translation. Overall, we had a great time with them. These were really kind people who were willing to share a part of themselves with travelers like us. After Haran, we continued our journey to Izmir, exploring the gems of Turkey. Gulay Gulay from Haran, see you in the next episode.